Tonight in America. The coronavirus pandemic continues to sweep our nation. Thousands of Americans continue to struggle with the everyday effects of a global pandemic. I take full responsibility. It's not my fault that it came here, it's China's fault. And you know what? It's not Joe's fault that it came here either. It's China's fault. What I would say is I'm gonna shut down the virus, not the country. It's his ineptitude that caused the, virus, caused the country to have to shut down in large part. And social injustice in our country. The people of this country want and demand law and order, and you're afraid to even say it. We're all Americans. The only way we're going to bring this country together is bring everybody together. There's nothing we cannot do if we do it together. And after months of political ads channeling the airwaves for multiple candidates, it's finally time to cast your ballot in the 2020 election. Once again, Eagle Eye is tracking your vote. This is Eagle Eye TV's Eye on the White House. For the last month, America has been voting in record numbers. People all across the nation have cast their ballots. Some are still in line to do so. And tonight, we have our eye on the White House. Over the next three and a half hours, we'll hear from college reporters across the nation, polling experts, and of course, Auburn students. Tonight, we're watching several races, including Alabama House District 3, which includes the Auburn campus, where Republican incumbent Mike Rogers is running against Democrat Dr. Avia Winfrey. Eagle Eye is, Eagle Eye is also keeping a close eye on the Alabama Senate race, pitting Democratic incumbent Doug Jones against former Auburn football coach Republican Tommy Tuberville. Eagle Eye's Eye on the White House is also watching the race for control of the House and Senate, and of course, the race for the presidency of the United States. Where Republican incumbent Donald Trump is locked in a heated race with former Vice President and Democratic nominee Joe Biden. It's 6 o'clock in Alabama, which means polls have closed in Vermont, Indiana, Kentucky, South Carolina, Virginia, and key battleground state Georgia. In Georgia, early voting almost matched the total turnout from four years ago, so we'll be keeping a close eye on that key swing state. Long lines are being reported all across the nation as voters are turning out in what looks to be record numbers. We bring in Eagle Eye reporter Laney Mayfield, who's standing by live at the Clarion Inn polling site in Auburn. Laney, what are you seeing out there? Blake, it is 6 o'clock Central Time this evening with only one hour left for voters to cast their ballots during this historic presidential election season. Early voting records may have been shattered across the country, but today is election day and the polls were very busy. But at Clarence Inn and Suites, there are no long lines. If you take a look behind me, you may see protesters, but you do not see a long line, which may be beneficial for voters who want to avoid a hectic voting environment. Now, today I've had the opportunity to visit a couple of voting locations here in Auburn, and I have noticed a trend in long lines. And that's what they did. Voters in Lee County sworn polling locations amid a pandemic on election day. At the Boykin Community Center, many people from the area stood in long lines to let their voices be heard. Formal City Council member A.L. Dardell says that voting plays a central role in determining the nation's leaders. The reason why we are here voting today is because we want to make a, a, send a clear message that is so important and imperative that the community decides, the people decides who's going to be the president of the United States, who's going to be the majority in the Senate. And this is why it's so important that we come out to vote. Citizens stood in line for a few minutes and others for hours. Dardell says the lines at the community center symbolize components that makes up the nation. If you could look at these long lines, you can see what America is all about. You see black and white. You see uh, uh, students and non-students. You see the wealthy and, and the poor. All of us are gathered out here in this line today. At Clarion Inn and Suites, some voters face enclosed crowds and full parking spots, but that didn't discourage them from voting. Some even brought chairs to sit in as they waited in these long lines. Facial coverings were encouraged for voters upon entry. Some entertained themselves as they waited in the long lines. One college student even 
and read a book for an upcoming assignment. Thank you. Refreshments were provided by a Doug Jones supporter after boats were complete. Now here in the state of Alabama, voting polls close at 7 o'clock central time, but here in Auburn, Alabama, we see citizens still lingering in in hopes of casting their ballots during this historic presidential election. Now, I spoke to one woman earlier, and she said she sped on her way here so she could have the opportunity to stand in line and cast her ballot to vote. Blake, back to you. Thank you, Lainey. We back out to you at 7 o'clock when the polls close in Alabama. The battle for control of the Senate looks to be a close one that we'll be following all night. We go now to political expert Ryan Lavoy. Ryan takes us through Eagle Eye's interactive Senate map to show you what polling is showing for who will control the Senate. 